last uh, night on on my uh, blog TV <clears throat> say, how do you know? Well, you know in the spirit. And then he said, well, how, how do you know that he won't listen to other, you know, religions like Hindus and all of that? <clears throat> and I had to explain to him there's only one way to get to the Father, and that's through His Son, yes. Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Amen. That's the only way. He's the door. Yes, He is. And, and the Father, God, put Him there. I didn't yes. put Him there. You didn't put Him there. Nope. Nope, the Father but did. But God put, put Him there. Done. Amen. And He says, I'm going to make it an easier way, Okay. Back before Yeshua come, they had to have a temple where they could take the calves and the lambs and whatever to the high priest. So, offerings, yeah, yeah, for their sin offerings or their thanksgiving, even to uh, thank God for something that He did good for them. They still had to take that sacrificial offering to the temple. Yeah. To be burnt on on the altar, it was called Thanksgiving sacrifice. Well, you know, nowadays, being that Jesus Christ Yeshua was that sacrificial lamb that was nailed to the cross on Passover day, yes, on fulfilling Passover. that promise, that promise, fulfilling that promise that he would be the sacrificial lamb and that his blood would be our covering from now on. Yes. All we yes. have to do is accept him. And when we accept him and that blood is covered us, we have entered through that door and Amen. we can abode one day with the Father. Amen. Forever and ever. Yes. Yeah. And there's no other one that teaches that. Not even the Muslims bless their hearts. And, you know, I bless, I got in trouble because people said, why do you bless their hearts? Well, you know, that's exactly what the scripture says. It yes, says yes. to bless our enemies, to bless yes, them, not to curse. You so, are to love our neighbor as ourselves. Yes. And it doesn't matter what that person believes, even if it's nope. wrong, we are to love them. And I can how can they see how can they see who Yeshua Jesus is if we don't love them? If we don't if we don't give out that love that Yeshua gives to us, how do they see him? How do they see his light? How do they see the truth of who he is? If we're not loving them just as they are, just as he loves us. Amen. Amen. And and, and they can't. They can't unless they hear from from the Father. Amen. They have to hear. They have to understand. They have to know who the Father really is. And the Muslims, yeah, they believe that there's a Jesus and that he was virgin born, but he didn't go to the cross. He didn't die. He's not the Son of God. He's just a prophet. That's how they believe. And they believe that one day he's coming back with a ma, ma, ma can you say the word now? But uh, oh, uh, yeah. They're um, their Savior, about. their Messiah. Yeah. And both of them are going to work Bobby. together to bring this earth into alignment with Allah. And I'm telling you people, unless you come to Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the one that died on the cross, the one who bled for you, and the one that went down to hell, literally went to hell and took the keys, Yes. Amen. Of death and hell away from Amen. Satan. Amen. He, Amen. He Amen. Those keys, he unlocked 
doors and he set the captive free. Because Amen. before he come, the the ones that died believing Abraham Yep. Yeah. But they are now being able to be in paradise. They were set free. They Amen. were set free. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. And, and I, I'm telling you, whenever he was asking that, I'm, I said, you know what? There is only one God. One. One. Not a half a dozen out there. One God. And his amen. name is Yahweh. Yeah. And there's only one Savior, one yeah. Son right now. His name is Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. And, and to prove that, go to John 3.16, for John 3.16 says, God so loved the world, that means everybody, everybody, everybody. black, white, whatever, doesn't matter Ever. what color Ever. you are, doesn't matter what language you speak, doesn't matter at all. He nope. loved you so much that he sent his only begotten son to die on a cross so that we can become reconciled with him and become yes. one with the Father and rule and reign in the kingdom. Yes, Lord. That's yes. why we have to have because I refuse, I will not bow my knee to any other God because Amen. there is no other God, God. besides Yahweh, the one and only God. Amen. I will not bow my knee to any other Messiah but Jesus Amen. Christ, Yeshua, for he is the true Son of God. Yes, he is. And him, only him would I bow my knee to. Amen. And it's important for people to know this. Because when the churches, Tina, I'm just, I'm really worked up from yesterday. I mean, these churches that promote other gods, other oh. things, and saying that people Jesus pleasing. isn't the only way, they are a liar. Pleasing. Yes, they are. And they're deceitful, and there are the seeds of Satan, and Satan sent them into your church, into your pulpits, to lie to you, and to deceive you, and cause your soul to be doomed to hell. Yeah. Like that one, uh, what's his name, um, uh, that was trying to get... Uh, all religions to come together as one. Oh, Rick Warren. Rick Warren. <sighs> he's I, promoting the Islam. He's he's promoting he, a unity between Christianity and Islam. And there can't be a house divided cannot stand. You cannot combine gods with our God and make it work. No, I mean. You have to either accept God the Father, Yahweh, or you're going to be accepting another God that the Muslims call Allah, and I'm sorry, they're not the same because they do not receive Yeshua HaMashiach as the Son. So right. therefore, it can't be Allah, because if Allah does not have a Son, then He is not God. the living one and only God. Because Amen. that son represents his father, and he is under his father's authority. Everything that he says is the very words that his father speaks. So Allah's not the God. Because Yahweh is the God, and he has a son. Amen. And Buddha, they have many gods. Who, who, Hinduism, many gods. Chris, yeah. uh, uh, Harry Christian, many gods. Yeah. Yes, There's only do. one God. Only one. One people. One. That's it. Yep. And he created this world. He created us. He created you and me, Tina. He created oh, no. us. He created every single person on this earth. 
Every single person came from him. It, it's his creation. It's not yes. anybody else's creation. It's his creation. And I don't have the capacity to, to create. Do you, Tina? I don't have the capacity to create anything like the world and the trees nope. and the... No. Oh, my goodness. No. He, he, he created everything. You can see creation all around us. Not just us, but, but the whole earth. Our universe. Everything. Yes. It didn't happen by happenstance. It happened by a creative mind. A mind so holy, Amen. so Amen. pure, that when he creates something, he creates it in his righteousness. Amen. And not in Satan's righteousness. Now, Satan has polluted us and polluted this world and even polluted the Holy of Holies until Yeshua had to return with his blood and sprinkle it all over the place, you know, cleansing cleansing what Satan had polluted in heaven. So it had to be re-cleaned <clears throat> and that pollution wiped out. Now it's we're in the garden time like Yeshua because this earth is getting ready to be cleaned. Yes, it is getting ready to be cleaned by judgment. And when it's cleaned... The evil has to go. And if you're living in sin and you have not got your heart right with him, then guess what happens? You go too. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you for listening. Uh, that's when Blog Talk Radio cut off. We wasn't quite finished. Um, I will find out what went on, and uh, but we're going to keep telling the truth. We are in the time in testing. We are being tested. Blessings, blessings to everyone.